What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Valor video and today as you can see we will be playing Enzo in the jungle and I actually ended up trying a new build on him with of course that newly buffed Uriel's brand, it is an absolutely broken item, even Florentinos are building it and they don't really they don't really get anything or not too much from that bonus attack speed but the bonus movement speed it gives you, that shield it gives you um, it's just all of these things are much too valuable. It gives you damage reduction as well when that shield pops. It is just such an overbuff, completely overbuffed item. Um, in esports, you see at least three people building it, so you will see a lot of um, videos involving that item, a lot of builds involving that item over the coming days. And I tried it on Enzo, and it ended up working extremely well. Uh, I combined it because it gives us some attack speed. I combined it with a Fafnir's. And together with that passive that you have, whenever you get a kill, you will see it very often this game, that we just completely uh, pop off and we just completely destroy even more enemies uh, with that um, damage that we get from that Fafnir's as well, okay? I mean, I've already uploaded an Enzo Fafnir's video in the past, so you guys know that it actually works, that it's a good build. But now with this new Uriel's brand, I think it's even a little bit better. I'm not sure if this is the best Enzo build, but it definitely worked very well this game and it was a lot of fun. So I thought I would share. Here we just do this zombie. <laughs> My team is already feeding a little bit. 0-2. We weren't able to hit level 4 because the Alice stole the little minion there, as you saw. So we're not doing too well, but we are able to secure the zombie. <laughs> Guys, it was honestly really spooky. I got jump scared. I'm gonna be honest, I got jump scared. When I first saw that zombie, I got completely jump scared. It is insane, but it's fine. Um, still enjoy these changes that they put sometimes on the map. But yeah, we're just farming, just AFK farming so far. We just need to farm. Uh, my team is not in a good spot. We are a little bit behind. We don't we don't want to fight these. I try to dodge. I try to uh, walk into it, but he just uh, kept walking to the left. So we end up not hitting it, but we get our passive. We get the tool and kill, and we can try to pop off here. I try to get this guy. We get the Alice. We hook her in, and he pushes her away. I don't know what this guy is doing. I try to go deep there, but not quite able to. Honestly, this Baldum is an absolute imposter. I would already vote him out right now, okay? I told my crewmates, yo, guys, Baldum, I saw him vent. I saw him jump into a vent. Vote him off, okay? They don't trust me yet. They don't trust me. We'll see if they will trust me uh, later on. If he will grief us even more because so far <laughs> this was just terrible. Uh, but it is what it is. I tried to get this. We are able to get him with a combined effort. And uh, now this Zill is just gonna completely one-shot him. She cancels my S2 with her silence, which is something you can keep in mind when you're playing Alice. You can cancel um, the Enzo S2. Here I'm not able to get into range quite. So uh, we just take the little uh, minion there with, uh, with the punish. I'm trying to ping my team back because again, my blue up is spawning soon. We have no business being there. Beautiful trap by Yena. Luckily, she goes for my boy Raz there, and he gets away, and I get away as well as a result of it. If she just focused on me, and that Zill jumped on me as well, I think we would have just died. But, all good. We are able to just go back to our blue buff and get it. Uh, I'm still going for Soul Reaver on this build, because it gives you cooldown reduction. It also gives you a ton of attack damage. Um, it gives you that clean passive, which, you know, the attack speed jungle item, it's gonna be too much attack speed at that point, okay? Usually you already don't want to go too much attack speed on this guy. So again, this is uh, you can try this build. Let me know what you think. I think it's uh, pretty good. Not sure if it's the best one. Uh, here she uses her support item beautifully and cancels my pullback. Uh, very interesting to find out though that it doesn't cancel the full um, the full hook. Okay, the hook isn't gone, so you'll still have that bonus damage. You'll still be able to ult even if they built that support item. So that's good. Here, this Zill is completely overextended. We are able to get an assist onto him. And now I want to go deep. I go really deep here. Now the Yena follows up. We are able to pop that Arctic Orb. And I'm really trying hard to make this uh, team fight a victory. We go back in. I try to get this guy, man. And um, 
I think I will get him. I get him. I almost get the Yina with that last auto attack. Not quite though. So that is really unfortunate. I think they will steal my red buff, but my Baldum is there in time. So, uh, you know, he's telling me he was doing tasks in electric, you know, he's trying to um, divert the suspicion. <laughs> but we'll see if he's gonna be able to. Now we respawn, we go back straight to our red buff. You always want to keep spinning that second ability because it gives you more movement speed. Uh, you don't have to spin it, you can just aim it, but you want to keep um, charging it because as I said, it gives you that move speed. Here he's gonna ult, and uh, the Alice stun is really, really beautiful. He flickers onto him, we are able to get him, and I think we will get this Tulan as well. We survived with a couple of health, but I played so many Tulan games, I knew that would kill me. Um, so yeah, we're chilling. We're four and one, doing pretty well. Eight to nine though, we'll see if we can win this. This was a very exciting game, so uh, get your popcorn ready if you haven't yet, okay? This was a very, very nice one. Now, um, Enzo actually got nerfed on the recent patch, but they made him a little bit smoother. I, I like him. I only played him like two games. I like both of those. Um, yeah, I might try start playing him more again. Not sure. We'll see. But he is definitely pretty fun. I've seen some Enzo's pop off pretty hard as well. I feel like just making something smoother, even if you reduce some damage, even if you reduce some... Uh, I think they... Yeah, they reduced mainly the damage on his ult and second ability. But uh, if you make him smoother, you know, everything is gonna flow better and he's gonna be not only much more fun, but also just uh, you'll do much better most of the time. I tried to get this Zill, but he could of course just jump away. Here I actually tried to hook the minion and then jump onto the minion and then we can kill the minion and we have another hook and even if he jumps away then. But unfortunately we hit him instead of the minion. But yeah, 4, 1 and 2. Again, we're doing pretty well. It was, uh, it's 9 to 10 now. We roam bot for this tower. Uh, we had some pretty decent macro as well, I would say, this game. I really didn't make too many mistakes. Now I go for the Uriel's brand. Honestly, I would recommend you guys to go for uh, the Speed of Longinus first. That's why I showed you that in the build. I went second item Uriel's brand because they have a Tulan and a Zill. And at that point, it is just so much value. It is such a good item against uh, double AP. But even against not double AP, it's really good. That's the thing about this. This is the issue about this buff of this item because it's just too strong, you know? It's uh, not... If it's only good against double AP, that's good, you know? If it's really good value, that's fine, you know? It's a magic resistance item. Uh, but, yeah, it's a little bit too strong. Uh, now he resets the... This was actually a good Baldemult. He resets the thing. Here I try to kick her over the wall, but we're, we get stunned by the spear, I believe, from um, Slims. Now the enemies are kind of low though, that Slim, that Zill was pretty low, so I know we can just secure this dragon real quick. And we do. Align gets a solo kill onto the Yena, but dies as well, but that's honestly good. Considering I didn't pay any attention to Align this game, because he's just on the weak side. We, You can only always focus one side of the map, that's how you should play. You should always choose a strong and weak side. And this game I chose bot lane as my strong side. Here we are able to get her very beautifully. We finish her off. And um, yeah, we are able to have a pretty decent team fight here, I think. If I don't remember wrong, but I do remember wrong, we have to back out. We get one kill, it's all right, but we really have to back out now. The Slims, um, uh, um, what's it called? He forced my little Uriel's brand passive as well. So we are not able to just go face tank that Zill anymore. Whenever that's down, of course, you shouldn't do that. And here we try to get this uh, Zill it jumps onto us. And again, I don't have Uriel's brand, so he probably knew that. So he just tries to finish me off. But we are able to juke away from his S1 there a little bit with our S1. And we are able to survive. Now, this game, honestly, man, oof, are you sweating a little bit? I'm sweating. And I, I know what happens, but I'm sweating here. 414, 12 to 12. The Baldum is. Is he gonna be able to kill that Yena? No, I think she gets away. Look at the minimap. Yeah, she's already pretty far. I think he's just gonna die now to the Tulan. <laughs> and the Slims at the Alice. Feels bad, man. Ah, man. It is what it is. The, the imposter. The imposter is right there. I told you guys. Vote him off. Get him out. Get him out, guys. He survived. So maybe we shouldn't get him out quite yet. Um, I get the mid lane wave. Now we pre-order the Fafnir's, uh, we pre-ordered Omnion first, but then I realized, man, I already have the attack speed, man, Fafnir's is gonna be really clean, 
and it really is. It's really, it's really, really nice, especially with Speed of Longinus as well, because you have a lot of attack speed, you can apply these stacks much faster. Your auto attacks are ranged, but they're AoE. Keep that in mind. That's the only... Well, Enzo counts as a melee hero, right? I don't know if you guys knew. So, um, yeah, that's why you can go for... Um, you can go for the Soul Reaver as well. That is the whole reason why we go for that. Without the passive, it would be too useful. But yeah, we're doing pretty well. This is a very close game, man. And I hope... I mean, you will see soon. The, the build will pay off. Okay, the will, build will definitely pay off. I try to go for a flank here with the whole team. We have that shuriken, and shuriken already adds a lot of damage to this, okay? If you get that passive, as I said, you just run them down, you just attack them a billion times per second with that bonus attack speed. We are able to secure the red buff. Here, I instantly go for her because I know she will rotate. She's not able to use her um, active item early enough, but now this is just a terrible team fight. I don't know what that Baldemult was, I don't know why everybody is just going deep there and just dies. And yeah, that was just honestly super bad team fight. But I am able to at least get away, we don't have Uriel's brand ready, so this is not looking too hot right now. Um, here I'm pretty much solo defending, the Align is way off, he tried to go for a flank, but we are able to get a double kill. And this Align just jumps in, but his ult doesn't even hit. Uh, the guy before he dies. So I just get a double kill. He didn't even get an assist. It's so funny He literally he tried to flank from that bush But then he realized oh, they're gonna push and then he go went all the way around and that was just way too late I think we could have accomplished much more if he was there right at the start and yeah <laughs> This is not progressing too well guys, is it? Baldum somehow gets a free kill onto Yena. I don't know what's happening, man. I'm pinging the Slayer, three enemies are dead, we definitely need to try to get that now. We need to go there instantly. Um, still one person dead, still the Yena uh, dead, so we're still chilling. I want to get this last hit, he doesn't give it to me, but it's fine. They start the Slayer at least, I'm really glad they listened to the call. And yeah, we can burn it down really fast with Hayati, of course Hayati guys, I keep telling you, he's so broken. Um, now I get stunned a little bit, I have to retreat here. But it looks like a pretty decent team fight here. I'm not quite sure now that all line goes way too deep, man. If we kite it backwards so I can join, loop around and join my team, we could have done something, but they just completely inked once again. Um, I get my Fafnirs, I try to get this red buff real quick. It will definitely help me if we have it. And we do get it, and now they're trying to de uh, dive me instantly. But um, I'm already gone, and yeah, I don't know. He <laughs> he ults me, but it doesn't do anything. And now let's check it out, okay? Let's check this out, okay? This is what we've been waiting for. We have the Fafnir's, we have that Uriel's brand, we have a lot of uh, nice attack speed, we have that Spear of Longinus, man. We have all we have all we need, honestly. We have all we need. Now let's see what we can do here. They're, they're almost finishing, not gonna lie, they're almost finishing, guys. But look at this, I missed my hook, but look at these auto attacks, man, they're clearing. They're just, look, I'm missing my hooks, man. This is the brain that ends so build, I'm telling you, look at this. We just, bam, just beat them up, man, and easy, easy peasy, we get four kills, man. We can run it down mid and try to end the game, and we'll see if we will succeed. Uh, we get the iguana real quick, you know, the little jungle iguana. Just get that real quick for some gold. Um, now, I'm not sure what to buy. I. In hindsight, you should go for a Blade of Eternity, but I was I didn't have time to pre-order anything new, so I was like, okay, I'll just sit on my on my um, on whatever I just bought, and then if we have another team fight, I can go for the Blade of Eternity. I don't have enough gold right now, anyway. Here, I try to get this guy. He stuns me right before I'm able to push him, pull him back, man. That probably would have been the game right there. But look at this, man. This Baldum just completely goes deep. Uh, imposter showing himself right there puts a nail in the coffin we didn't um, vote him out he goes deep ults what was that man it was disgusting but it is what it is now the enemies are turning it around we have a raz we have a raz so we'll see if we'll be able to uh, if he will be able to clear this wave we have 10 seconds remaining on Baldum and together they should be able to clear this wave, okay? So uh, let's see what happens here. Align flaming everybody this game while not doing too much. Um, we'll see. Let's see if this Raz can clear the wave. 
He can't because of Baldo Mandy puts an ult onto the wave before Raz um, ults it. Imposter, he put, he really put a. Hey, you should put a imposter screen. You won, and it's Baldo. I'm, I swear that I was so tilted. We get the defeat, man. Look how long I'm just lingering there. I was really tilted. <laughs> I was actually really tilted, man. <laughs> Honestly. But it was a good game, it was a good representation of this new Enzo build, I at least didn't lose a star. Uh, Baldum likes me, man, because, uh, yeah, you, you, hey, well played, good imposter round, Baldum. You got me. Well, you didn't get me, but you got my teammate. We should have voted you off earlier. 26% damage, we did most damage. Um, so, whenever you do a lot of damage, the build must be pretty good, right? Uh, I'm just gonna leave you at the stats and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know. A lot of you guys kept requesting Enzo footage and usually I int on this guy. I don't know what happened. I can't play him anymore, but this game was actually pretty decent. Very nice mechanics as well, except for that one team fight. Well, listen, man, I wanted to showcase how I don't have to hit the hook and we just... Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell with all notifications to not miss any of my quadruple content pieces every single day that will alter your life and with that being said i will see you guys the next time peace out boys bye bye